In this video, we'll be learning rectangular arrays while catting a Lego brick in Autodesk Inventor. This is an introductory lesson as anybody with no CAD experience should be able to handle this type of catting. Make sure and subscribe as we'll be pushing more content with Autodesk Inventor very soon. Also, gently click that like button if you find this video helpful. Right now I'm using Autodesk Inventor 2019. You can click start working and it should take you where you want to go, which is this screen. Start a new file, so I'm going to click on this drop down and go to new. This drawing is in metric, so I'm going to go to metric, standard, and this is a part, so standard MM, and then create. You can also double click on this and it should work the same. This is my main view. First thing I need to do is come up with a plan. So if you've seen a Lego, First, we're going to make the rectangle of that Lego. So let's go ahead and start with the bottom. It's a 2D sketch. And I'm going to be working on the XZ plane. And I love to use the uh, two point center rectangle, but any one of those rectangles will work. The length of this is 31.8. I'm going to press tab and it's going to send me to the other dimension and this one's going to be 15.8. If I hit enter, I'll have my simple rectangle. So the next thing is I'm going to finish sketch and extrude. So click finish sketch, extrude, and I'm going to click on the inside of that. And I'm going to extrude that 9.6 millimeters. And then I have my simple rectangle. You're gonna see me click on this little house right here, that's the home button, because sometimes if I'll move my part around and I get kind of lost in where I am, if I click home, it'll send me back home. You know what, my next step, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pegs that go on top. So I'm gonna go to start 2D sketch. I'm gonna click on the top. I'm gonna rotate this. We're gonna use the circle command you can really put it anywhere, but the dimension is important. The dimension of that is going to be 4.8 millimeters. Okay, and then I'm going to use the dimension command. And I'm going to click on the center of the circle and click on this edge. And I'm going to put that exactly where I want it, which is going to be 3.9 millimeters away. And then I'm going to click on the center again and click on this edge and do the same 3.9. So now I kind of have this where I want it. I'm going to create my first array. So I'll click on rectangular array. Okay, so for these instructions, the first thing it asks for is your geometry. So I'm going to click on my geometry and then I'm going to click on my circle. Notice how it turned white. The next thing is going to ask for direction. So we're going to have two directions, one going horizontal and one going vertical. So direction one, I'm going to click on this line. The arrow is pointing this way. I can click on this to flip it. And these are going to be eight millimeters away from each other. And of course, there's going to be four. Direction two is going to go vertically. So I'm going to click on this then click on this line and then change this to 8 as well and this one only has two rows so I'm gonna leave that at 2 looks good click OK then I have my 8 circles in my pattern the next step is to finish sketch next thing is I'm gonna extrude I'm going to click on all of them. Notice how they're very exaggerated, but we're going to change that. The distance that I'm extruding is 1.8 millimeters. And it looks good. Now I'm actually going to change this. Instead of this being right, I want to change this to front. So I'm going to right click, current view set to front. And I also want this to be my main view, so I'm going to click on this. I'm 
right click and set current view as fit to view. This is the view I really want to be looking at it whenever I'm looking at my part. So if I get lost, click on home and it's going to take me to this view. It's not important, but it's a personal preference of mine because I can see the length, the width, and of course the height. The next step is the bottom. So I need to cut a hole in this bottom and we're going to use the extrude cut. But first I need to draw my sketch. So click on 2D sketch, click on the bottom. And I'm going to use a center rectangle just like before. So I can actually do some math inside of here to tell me exactly what my dimensions need to be. I know the thickness of my wall is supposed to be 1.2, but my total is 31.8. So I can actually put 31.8 minus 2.4. I'm going to hit tab. And then of course the width was 15.8, then minus the 2.4, right? 2.4, I'm getting the 1.2 plus 1.2 because it's both sides. Finish sketch. And then I'm going to extrude, cut. And for this one, it's going to be 9.6 minus 1 because the thickness of that top layer is one millimeter. So it's going to be 8.6 deep, 8.6 millimeters. And that looks good. Now while I'm here on the bottom, I might as well cut out the holes on those eight circles. So I'm going to go to start 2D sketch, click on this bottom plate. Let me rotate this again really quick. If you, if you hover your mouse over this, once you find it, it'll locate the center and then you can lock this to the center. So I'm going to click on that and it looks like the dimension of the hole that's cut is 2.6. So 2.6 millimeters. So I need to draw two lines because I'm gonna do a rectangular array. And the length of the lines don't really matter. and press escape to get out of the command. So now I have two lines there and they're just so I can uh, put the direction of my array. So next is rectangular array. My geometry, what do I want to array? I want to array this circle. Click on my first direction. Four. These are eight millimeters apart. Direction two, going down. I need to reverse that, also eight millimeters apart. Finish sketch. Next, I'm going to extrude, and I'm gonna select cut. The distance is 1.7 millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice how they're not going all the way through. They're just kind of cutting a hole inside of there. Click OK. So there we have our holes cut. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these three circles that go right here that kind of lock the other Legos together. Let's first do the one in the center because we know exactly where that is. We'll put the other two. So. First, we need to start sketch. We're going to draw on this plane, circle. And it looks like the outer diameter of that circle is a 6.51 millimeters. Enter. And then the inside circle is a 4.8. So 4.8. Enter. I'm going to press escape to get out of the command. And I actually I want to move those dimensions out just so I can look at this a little bit better. All right, so we have our two circles. Now there's a couple of different ways I can tackle this. I'm gonna go ahead and lock these dimensions between these two, so enter. Now 
Now this is over constraining that, but that's fine because I want these two to stay the same, the distance between each other. And then I'm going to copy. So I selected both of those. Select the base point. I'm gonna select the middle. And I'm just gonna put that there. Put that there. I'm going to escape to get out of the command. So now I have three of them. But I want to make sure that the distance is the same for all of them. So I'm going to go to dimension, click on the center point of this one, click on the center point of this one, and it should be eight millimeters. And the same thing goes here and here. Eight. Click on finish sketch, extrude, and this is coming off of the, the first extrusion. So um, I believe it's 8.6, if I'm not mistaken. And we're gonna extrude that. Make sure you select the ring and not the inside. You could check that really quick. Just click on this corner. That looks good, right? Let me just click on this edge. Make sure that it's not extruding past where it needs to. Click OK. That looks pretty good so far, right? All right, uh, we're getting there. Next, uh, there's these two ribs that go across here and here. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Start 2D sketch. Click on this. I'm going to rotate this really quick. I'm going to draw a rectangle going across. So I'm going to use a center rectangle. And I'm going to touch the edge. So it kind of locked on 13.4. And then the width, oh, it's thin, it's 0.8. If I extrude it, it's going to mess up this cylinder right here. So I'm actually going to draw a circle. I'm going to make it match this ring which is 6.51. Let me zoom in really quick. And what I want to do now is I'm actually going to use a command called the trim command. And what I want to trim is, well for one, I really don't care too much about this. I don't care too much about this. Um, I don't care about this line or this line. And all I'm left with is these pieces here. So then I finish sketch, extrude, and the height is going to be 6.3, 6.3. Click on that, click on that. Kind of look at it as an at an angle. That looks good. So far, this thing looks really good. So all that we need to do now is put these little ribs that are going across here to make sure that everything locks in together. I'm gonna go ahead and actually draw these four and then I can actually maybe mirror it. So I'm gonna use multiple commands to get this done. So the first thing I need to do is draw one, make sure it's where it's supposed to be and then go from there. So I'm gonna be extruding up. So, and we're going to be drawing off of this face here. So click on 2D sketch, click on this face, and I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit. All right. Okay. So this time I'm going to actually use a two point rectangle to get this done. So I'm going to click on this line. This one the thickness is going to be 0.2, so 0.2 millimeters. And the width is 0.6. Hit enter. And there's our part. I'm going to press escape to get out of command. This is what we're looking at. So I need to make sure that the dimension is exactly where I need it to be. And it's pretty much going to be in the center here and here. 
So I'm going to use the dimension command to put it where it needs to go. So since this is since this is 0.6, the center is 0.3, right? And the dimension the dimension to where this needs to go is going to be uh, 3.3 from this outer wall, right? So I'm going to go to dimension, and I'm going to click on this line, and I'm going to click on this, and it's supposed to be 3.6 millimeters. And if that makes sense, I mean, it's a, is it where it needs to go? And I can kind of test it out. This is the center. And does it look like it's where it's supposed to go? It looks exactly like where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to get out of that command. Escape. So this one's correct. I'm going to make my array going across. The same way I did before. So I'm going to click rectangular array. I'm going to highlight this part. Click my direction. I'm going to click on this line and it's going to go across that way and I want four and they're eight millimeters across. Click OK. Let me zoom out. They look good. Okay. So I need to put these two ribs on this side here and here, and uh, the, I'm going to go ahead and try to use a circular array for that. Let's see what happens. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my geometry, and then select my axis. I'm going to put a point right here in the center of the circle. So I'm going to kind of hover my mouse over the circle, click on this. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And you're going to see why. Instead of me redrawing that circle, I'm going to use the circular array command to kind of copy it to where it needs to be, which is on this side. So next thing I do is I select circular pattern. Select circular pattern, select my object, click on this, and then select my axis, which is this center circle. I'm just going to put 90 degrees. I only want one. I'm going to want two, which is, of course, that one and this one. Ninety degrees because I only want this side over here. Click OK, and I copied it. I'm gonna do the same for this side. Circular array, circular pattern. Select my object. Select my axis. Change this to two. Change this to ninety. Notice how it's on the wrong side. Flip it. Click OK. So now we have all of our sides. So instead of redrawing everything again, let's use some more commands. Let's go ahead and flip this thing. But first, we're going to have to draw a line in the middle. We're going to use a mirror command. So I'm going to select the center. I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to draw a straight line. Exit command. Mirror command, and I'm going to select everything that I just drew. So it should be all these objects. It's okay that if I select the things that I'm not going to extrude, select my mirror line, and then apply. Click done. I'm going to zoom out. It looks good. Okay, so I have my main points. It does have these other circles as well, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to 
do anything with those. So next thing is finish sketch, extrude, and this is going to be a little difficult because I need to select the inside of each of these small uh, rectangles. Um, first I'm going to put the distance, which the distance is going to be 8.6, right? And I'm clicking on the wheel to drag. Be careful that you don't select the inside of that rectangle. Only select the inside of these small rectangles. You have to be very patient with yourself. Two more to go. I'm going to click OK and then zoom out. I, I'm scared I'm going to mess things up. So that looks great. That looks great. So there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Home. This is our Lego brick. And you know, you can change the color if you want. There's other videos. Uh, there's other videos out there to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to select my part. I could select my color, select red, enter, and there I have it. I have my nice Lego brick, and uh, it looks pretty good. Thanks, y'all, for watching this video. Make sure and subscribe if this video was helpful. You can actually 3D print this. Of course, depending on your 3D printer, uh, your dimensions may be a little bit off. But uh, this does work, and uh, see you guys next time.